can. So I just got back. Okay, so I got my scooter. Obviously, right? I got it from uh, the event site. Uh, so I got it from a detailing shop. So if you notice that, that's perfect. Let me put in some gloves because uh, my hands is sweating a lot. So yeah, I just had my good uh, detailing service from technical details thank you so much Ian for uh, giving me ceramic coating for this uh, V200 uh, Lambretta so you are pretty much interested in it they, they, they are servicing different scooters got a lot of uh, clients which are Vespa scooters in, in particular right so if you're interested in the service go visit the shop somewhere just uh, near I'm gonna show some pictures as well but yeah checkpoint okay checkpoint hold he doesn't good job so I'm not pulled over by the guys good thing okay. it's just uh, it's just on the other side of this LRT in Marikina the uh, primary reason why I opt this uh, detailing service is because they are it's actually nearest to my place a couple of kilometers away from my place which is very convenient of course if you bring in your motorcycle on and have to commute and all right so it should be near ceramic coating I would say is really a good investment especially on this bike it's prone to scratches, furrow marks, you name it it's a good good investment you'll never you're gonna regret it contact them directly i'm gonna post the number here right now they also have their facebook account so once again uh you, you can reach out to ian kevin he's a cool guy i know i know this guy for so long he's part of uh, my uh car community way back so yeah he's, he's a cool guy i'm pretty happy with uh, what the result is it, it's uh it's really good you've seen the picture right you've seen the video i can say it's way better than a brand new bike some of the uh, orange peel texture the scooter came directly from from the the casa itself right so now okay another checkpoint here i hope it doesn't get me because i hate checkpoint Wrestling and I hope it doesn't get so hard because yeah I need this bike really clean and no blemishes wet patches that's what I'm trying to avoid yes it's not good for this uh, newly detailed bike <laughs> I'm wearing shorts, one of the commodities. <laughs> I have skipped and avoided two checkpoints, which is cool. It is fine. But last time I got pulled over by checkpoint on my Vespa GTS. And not knowingly, I don't have the speed of sale for that bike. And <laughs> good thing, you know, the, the police officer didn't uh, cite that me for any trouble or any violation. But yeah, for those of you guys who are having a, a pre-owned unit, it's a must that you should be putting in your deed of sale on your bike as well as a proof of documentation that you own the bike. Right. On this bike, it's a different thing because uh, as you may be aware of from my previous uh, vlog, I was able to get my ORCR happy that I'm fully legit on this one. I can bring it anywhere now unlike before. You, you've seen the video of some of the vloggers where they got caught by LTO 
in Baguio, right? So you can see that food definitely cost you 10,000 pesos, which is a big money to pay, right? Okay, so I'm nearing my destination now. So thank you once again for all of you guys. Okay, those who are supporting my channel, keep doing it. For others who are new to my channel, click that uh, like button and subscribe. Hit the bell button as well to so notify you every time I put in some contents. Thank you once again and ciao for now everyone. Ride safe.